Hey, welcome today to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 23, and today verse 26. Just 26. Now as they led him away, they laid hold of a certain man, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming from the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. So here's a guy, he's just coming down the street, and Jesus is so weak at this point from all the torturing that's happened to him, he cannot physically carry the cross. So they grab this guy, and he's going to come along behind and bring the cross along that they're going to nail Jesus to when they crucify him. So this is it. Jesus is on his way to Calvary now, and this one person just happened to be there, but he had the privilege, what an extraordinary privilege, of bearing the cross of Christ. I'm not saying it was easy, but what he must have seen and felt that day as he bared, bore this cross, as the crowds were jeering and spitting on Jesus and treating him with vileness, and yet Jesus comes along here and he's going to pray, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing, really. And so Simon must have seen all these things. And so it would be a great privilege to do something for Jesus. And here he's bearing the cross for Jesus. God was working, I think, even for Simon on that day, on that extraordinary day. And so Jesus is going to go to the cross and bear our sins. And he's not bailing out. And even with all this awful treatment on every side, Jesus goes all the way, all the way to give us life. What a gift. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, we're reading here in the Gospel of Luke, and we're into the last chapters, Lord, and we look and we see Jesus. And then even then we see, Lord, you're working for individual persons like Simon here. You're giving, giving divine appointments, giving experiences that can turn our hearts toward your heart. So bless, Lord, and turn our hearts toward your heart. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God's blessings be with you today as you're thinking today about Jesus and his imminent death on the cross as we continue in the Gospel 